In this video, we're going to be talking about another redox titration. Have a look at this question and see if you can do it without looking at the answer. Once you're ready, let's go through it together. So to put things into perspective, 1.71 grams of iron ethan diet crystals hydrated are placed into a beaker and then 250 centimeter cubed of water is added to it. Now remember, inside this beaker, we're going to have two reducing agents, iron 2 plus and also ethane dioate ions. Then a 25 centimeter cube sample is taken. It is titrated with manganate and we use 28.5 centimeters cubed of manganate with a concentration of 0.02 mole per diem cubed. So remember, manganate is the oxidizing agent and iron 2 plus and ethane dioate are both reducing agents which means manganate is going to be reacting with both of them. So part A of the question says, deduce the number of moles of manganate that reacts with one mole of iron ethane dioate. So to answer that, let's write down the half equations for the oxidizing agents and the reducing agents. This is the half equation for the oxidizing agent manganate. This is for one of the reducing agents iron, and this is for the other one. Since iron and ethane dioate are both reducing agents, what we can do is combine them into one equation. As you can see, the number of electrons also add up. So now we have two half equations. The top one has the oxidizing agent and the bottom one has both the reducing agents. The next step is to make sure that the number of electrons in both equations are balanced. As you can see here, the top one has five electrons, whereas the bottom one has three. So we'll times the top by 3 and the bottom by 5, so that they both can become 15 electrons. And this is what we should get. So we can see that from the balanced equations, 3 moles of manganate react with 5 moles of iron ethane dioate. So if I had 1 mole of iron ethane dioate by dividing by 5, and I do the same on the left, I'll have 0 0.6 moles of manganate. So the answer for part A is 0 0.6. Moving on to part B, find the relative formula mass of the hydrated salt and the value of N. So to find the formula mass, we need to know two things, the mass and moles of the salt. We already know the mass, it's 1.71 grams. However, we don't know the number of moles. So let's start by working out the moles of something we can work out, such as manganate. We'll use the formula number of moles equals concentration times volume over a thousand. That gives us 5.7 times 10 to the power of minus 4 moles. Now using part A, we can work out how many moles of iron ethane dioate we'll have by simply dividing manganate by 3 and then timesing it by 5 because it's a 3 to 5 ratio. So that gives us 9.5 times 10 to the power of minus 4 moles. This is the number of moles, however, in 25 centimeter cubed. Our original volume was 250. So we have to times it by 10. So now we have both the mass and the moles of iron ethane dioate. Let's work out the MR by doing mass divided by moles. And that should give us an answer of 180. For the final part, we're then going to work out the value of N. So we're going to write the equation like this. So we're going to subtract the value of iron ethane dioate from both sides. That leaves us with N H2O is equal to 36. Then we're going to divide both sides by the value of water, which is 18. And that gives us a final answer of n equals 2. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.